Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to a weekly vlog. So today is Wednesday, Wednesday the 18th of January and I thought I would start the vlog today. I think I'm going to do a Wednesday to Wednesday vlog because um, I've got a few fun things coming up, um, a fun day today, a fun weekend and then a nice lunch next week. So I thought it would be fun to vlog Wednesday to Wednesday instead of um, Monday to Sunday like usual. This vlog might be a little bit all over the place because I'm not sure what I'm actually going to be filming in between those days. But today I'm heading into London. I've got a meeting at one o'clock in Chelsea and then I've got a bit of time to kill and then I'm getting my hair done later just to cut and blow dry and a treatment at um, Live True London in Soho. I think it's Live True or Live True. I'm not sure which one it is but um yeah i'm getting my hair done later so obviously i'll take you with me there but it is so cold today i walked maple this morning and i will insert um a little clip of that because it was so beautiful And now I'm back home and I'm ready. Um, I have done my hair, which I wouldn't normally do if I was going to the hairdressers, but I had some spare time. I was gonna leave early and go and pick up a parcel from the post office because um, I missed it the other day, but the post office is only open from eight till 10 or where you collect the parcels, only open from eight till 10, I didn't realize. So um, I missed that, unfortunately. So I thought now I've got some extra time, I may as well do something nice with my hair. So I've, um, ran the air wrap through it and I'm wrapped up nice and warm, ready for my train journey and my day in London. I'm gonna try and walk in between appointments if I can rather than getting on the train. Um, just because it's a nice sunny day, it's very cold, but um, I wanna get my steps in as well. So this is my outfit. Let me turn the brightness up, it's a little bit dark. Uh, this is my outfit for today. Excuse the mirror, it's a little bit dirty. I've got my big camel source unknown coat on. It's just the perfect kind of throw on coat. It goes with everything. Underneath, I've just got on this cream jumper from Pretty Lavish, which is a little bit creased under there. Um, but this is nice and warm as well. I've got two layers on underneath that. My anime bing bag, beanie stuffed in there as well to pop on. Um, my black Zara straight leg jeans and my black Zara chunky boots. I've also got two pairs of socks on um, and I'm going to put my gloves on as well. So hopefully I should be warm enough. It's not as cold today as it was yesterday. Yesterday I think it was like minus four, minus five. Today it's only minus two but that's still very cold. So yeah, hopefully I am wrapped up enough. But I may have a look around the shops as well later. Just have a little bit of time on my own in between appointments but I'm looking forward to this. This is my first time back in London in the new year. I feel like I had a nice break from going in and now I'm ready to get back to business. So I am very much looking forward to it. Hello everyone, so by the time I got in yesterday it was dark and late so I thought that I would wait and show you my hair in the morning. I had a lovely treatment from Full London put on so it is so 
smooth and soft at the moment and then i just had a little trim a little bit more kind of shaping around the front um and yeah i had about an inch and a half off so not too much just kind of got rid of the split ends but looks much healthier now much better i've still got my balayage running through it that i got done not last october the october before so it's quite a while ago that i got that done but i think it actually looks quite nice now um even though it's grown out i quite like the way that it's has grown out um anyway i've got a lovely bag of goodies yesterday from polly from blanket london so i thought that i would go through some of my favorites with you guys she explained some of them to me all of which i've not tried before so it's going to be very exciting but there are a couple of like standout favorites that i thought that i would just share with you quickly the main one being this cerave cleanser this is the hydrating foaming oil cleanser so it won't be right for everyone if you've already got oily skin but my skin is kind of normal it goes between normal and combination depending what time of year it is but this is a cleanser that you use in the shower so it's specifically designed to be used in the shower which i'm so excited about so i'm going to give that a go apparently it's really really good at removing makeup i just love the idea of completing one of my skincare steps in the shower so yeah i'm really really excited to try this uh what else oh got a beautiful um face cream from soho skin never tried anything from soho skin before but i thought the packaging was just so cute so i'm very excited to try that what does it feel like oh it's very thin oh it smells beautiful very excited to try that i thought i would actually keep this out in my bathroom as well because the packaging is gorgeous the other thing that i am so excited to try is this hair mask by sam mcknight it's called deeper love and the smell of it is incredible oh it is just gorgeous i love a hair mask i love discovering new ones i'm very much set in my ways with my olaplex and recently i haven't really branched out into hair care and i love hair care so i'm really excited to try this by sam mcknight and i've also got a hairspray this is the multitask heat protection styling mist which i'm really excited to use and this apparently i need to use before i style and after but it's great that it's a heat protectant as well so i'm really excited so many other amazing bits in here as well but i won't bore you with them all because we would be here all day that would be the whole vlog so i'm going to find a place for all of them where i honestly don't know i also had some lovely pr packages yesterday delivered whilst i was out so i thought i would quickly show you them i got these amazing lipsticks from hourglass from full monty pr but these are just stunning there are a couple it's these two i think that are just incredible this one is one of my favorites how stunning is that color i don't know if it might be a bit too dark on me but i love the idea of it so i'm hoping that it won't be also this one i think is a bit more suited to my skin tone this one's called oasis absolutely gorgeous the packaging is stunning as well what first one i showed you is called oasis 321 unlocked this one's unlocked sure 306 whatever that means but so excited to try these out the red ones i may actually pop on my vintage because i never wear red lipstick so it would kind of be a bit of a waste so keep an eye out if you're a um red lip wearer and these may appear on my vintage another thing that i got in the post today is a package from anuki i think that's how you say it anuki um and i'm very very excited by these they have sent me a pair of their sneakers which are kind of like snow boots but these are gorgeous such a lovely color they're suede and then they have this big rope tie leather around the bottom here but i just adore these these would have been perfect for um the skiing holiday that i'm no longer going on i'm not sure if i updated the vlog about this or not um but yeah we were going to go skiing at the end of next month but unfortunately that is going to be postponed until either the end of this year or maybe beginning of next year um we just left it too late basically and the areas that we wanted to go don't really have very much snow at the moment and i feel like as a beginner skiing on thin snow would not be good for me um so we're going to plan it properly and pr try and do it earlier in the season so yeah either the end of this year or beginning of next year but anyway these would be perfect for a nice snowy holiday but i'm definitely going to get my wear out of them in this country as well i just think they're really really cool 
very nice and winter chic and of course so soft in the inside as well they're going to keep my feet really cozy they also came with a very cute pair of socks so excited to wear them as well and then finally i got a bag from olida how stunning is this i just adore the color i'm so into my tan leathers and this is stunning such a gorgeous bag i really love the top handle it's also got straps on the back so you could make it into a backpack but um that's not really my thing so i will keep it as a top handled bag but I just love this. The quality is insane. So beautiful. Love the little detail here on the side as well. Absolutely gorgeous. Can't wait to wear this. I will link those bits down below for you guys. Anyway, today I'm going to take Maple out because it's warmed up a little bit now. It's freezing this morning, but it's warmed up a tiny bit. It's now four degrees. Um, and then I'm going to come back and upload a load of things to my vintage before the light goes and then i'll probably spend all evening editing so i probably won't catch up with you again today or tomorrow but saturday i have a fun day in london planned so i will take you with me there i will try and remember to vlog but whenever i do social things when there's lots of other people i do forget so fingers crossed i remember so i am off to london it's saturday today and tom and i are going to holly's surprise 30th birthday meal so thought i would quickly show you my outfit before we get on our train got this cute new little gray jacket from zara with all these gold buttons down it which i thought was quite cute i've just got a plain black bodysuit on underneath celine belt black midi skirt and my black stiletto boots i've got tights on as well underneath because there's slit at the back of this skirt and it's very very chilly today and i'm gonna put on this coat I'm not happy with my hair at all. Um, I didn't really have time to do it properly and I just don't love it. I feel like it needs to either be wavier or flatter. Um, it's just kind of a mix of not great. But anyway, this is my outfit. This is what I'm wearing. And we're going to go and get the train now and have a lovely meal. I will film what I can when I remember to. sat in Tesco's car park and I thought that I would just kind of update you because I don't feel like I've really spoken much on this vlog so I thought I would let you know how my weekend was. I went to Mayfair Kitchen for Holly's 30th birthday dinner which was so lovely you probably would have seen a bit of that um, and then Sunday just had a chilled day. Food by the way at Mayfair Kitchen was incredible. Tom and I shared the truffle tortellini, the arancini, the calamari and the potatoes and oh my god it was so yummy. And then we weren't actually back too late from London which was really nice because sometimes we go in for dinner and we get back like at midnight and it's just very tiring but we were back nice and early so I had a chilled Sunday. Yesterday I got some outfit pictures which was good because I seriously need some um i may be re meeting rach tomorrow to shoot in london not 100 percent sure yet i have to wait and see um i think i did briefly mention we were meant to be going for lunch tomorrow i was meant to be going with the girls but that has been cancelled but it's been rearranged so that's good so i'll probably include that in another vlog but i'm in tesco car park because i've just sent my vintage parcels um and this is the closest in post locker and it's just the easiest way to send them. So I always just come here. It's lovely and sunny today, really nice and crisp. Um, it is half past one and I've already been into London and got back this morning, which is really good. I love it when that happens and I can get back and enjoy the rest of the afternoon. I'm going to take Maple out as soon as I get home because Bess has been on her own this morning. So she'll need a nice walk. Then I'm gonna hopefully film a YouTube video if the light is still um, okay, I'm gonna film a what's new in my wardrobe. I put my sunnies on and I'm gonna drive home now. The reason my hair is in this hairband, I don't normally wear this hairband other than like around the house, but I seriously needed to have a shower this morning and wash my hair. Um, I did shower, but I didn't have time to wash my hair. So it's super greasy. So this is the look we've gone for today. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go home, hopefully film, go on a nice walk 
have a chilled afternoon i'll probably vlog some more maybe this afternoon or tomorrow um i feel like this is another one of those weekly vlogs it's a little bit all over the place hopefully you are um following it but yeah that is my plan and i'm sure i'll catch up with you guys soon hello everybody if you could see how i balance my camera right now you would laugh it's on three boxes it's not looking very stable but um this is the angle that i wanted so it's the end of the day now well kind of the end of the day it's the afternoon four o'clock and i am going to take my makeup off i've got the lovely sunset streaming into my bathroom window which is quite nice um, I thought that this would be a nice way to end the vlog because obviously I didn't go to lunch so I thought I would do a bit of an evening skincare routine with a few new products to share with you guys. If you want a proper refined skincare routine then let me know and I'll re I will refilm an updated version of that for you guys. But I thought this would be a nice way to end the vlog, a sort of like a get unready with me, um, kind of like a chatty version. So I've got this headband back on my hair, um, which I absolutely love. It's so handy. I'm going to put it back a bit further actually now so that I can get um, my cleanser and stuff on properly. I've got this jumper on it's from Pretty Lavish and it's huge. I'm actually just going to take this dressing gown off because I don't want to get makeup or anything on it. And then I can roll up my sleeves. There we go. So I actually finished yesterday or last night my Elmer's Pro Collagen Cleanser. The lid's come off as well. So that is completely empty. This is my third or fourth one of these. Um, I go through it so quickly, but luckily my mum bought me another one for Christmas. So I do have another one. Um, I think I'm gonna use this now actually. I always like to start off with a balm cleanser. Just find it works well with my skin. This one is my ultimate favorite. Oh God, a brand new pot. Well, it's quite, it's quite firm. I wonder if it's got a bit cold in here. I'm um, just gonna pop a little bit on my cheeks, forehead, chin. So I'm actually just going through at the moment my calendar because I'm making a new calendar on Google Sheets so I can share it. Um, with people so they can see my schedule um and february is going to be such a busy month i'm actually a little bit nervous for it i love being busy don't get me wrong i love events and parties and lunches and all that sort of stuff that i get invited to i find it so fun but also like being in london a lot and being away from home a lot does kind of stress me out a little bit I get so complacent being in the house and just having my own company so to be like out the house all the time kind of makes me a little bit anxious I'm not really like I'm kind of an anxious person I'm a little bit shy you'll know that if you've met me um I'm shy around people I don't really know so I love you know my home comforts being around people I do know so putting myself out of my comfort zone and going to lots of different events and meetings and stuff like that is quite a big step for me, but I'm excited for it. February will be fun. And then before I know it, I'm sure the weather is gonna to start to warm up again and spring will be here. And then I can start thinking about spring content and summer plans and all that fun stuff. These um, pads, by the way, I'm sure I've spoken about them quite a bit before on my channel from Face Halo and I just love them for removing makeup. They are so gentle and soft on my skin. I love the black ones as well, especially because you can't see the dirt on them. I have a few white ones as well. And as you can see, they're kind of like discolored from my makeup. They are clean, they're just discolored, but obviously the black ones, you can't see the makeup on them, um, which is great. So I've used my balm cleanser. I'm now going to use this from CeraVe, which I got from my meeting with Blanket London uh, last week. And I haven't tried it yet, but I was very excited to try it. It's an oil cleanser. It's made to be used in the shower. Obviously, I'm not in the shower, but I think it was going to work the same way. The cold weather at the moment has made my skin feel really, really dry. So it's nice to get a little bit of moisture on it. That is going to be the focus of this evening's skincare, actually, moisture. 
Mmm, I quite enjoyed that cleanser actually. It's nice. Hydrating foaming oil cleanser for normal to very dry skin. So I have normal slash combination skin. Depends really what time of year it is. Um, but as I said, it was feeling quite dry because of cold weather. So that was nice and refreshing. Um, what am I going to use yet? Ah, I got these bits from Kate Somerville. Hydra Kate recharging serum, recharging water cream. So I've been using, as I said to you guys before in my last vlog, I think it was. Um, I think I may have even mentioned it in this vlog. I've been using um, Skin and Me. I actually put that on this morning, so I'm not gonna put it on again tonight. I'm gonna use this serum by Kate Somerville. Keep my skin nice and hydrated. Uh, this morning I used a hair mask um i should have shown you the immediate effect i'll um if i remember i'll pop a video that i took for my instagram on the screen now so you can see my hair but i used the um hair by sam mcknight deeper love hair mask i've got it here actually let me show you it this one um i think i showed it earlier in the vlog and oh my goodness my hair smells amazing firstly and it is so soft and shiny um so obviously this is my hair at the end of the day i did it this morning and i have tied it up so that's why it's kind of like kinky and stuff but wow the shine on it this morning was amazing it's still really smooth actually and it does smell really nice now i'll leave that hair mask linked down below and i think for the price I wasn't expecting it to be that good. Um, I think it's really affordable. I think it's like £20 on Cult Beauty. So a lot of hair masks are like £60, £70 nowadays, which is kind of ridiculous. I think Olaplex is more expensive than that. And don't get me wrong, I love Olaplex, but that mask was incredible. So I would highly recommend that. I've used way too much of this. Okay, it's not a moisturiser, but wow, this is so hydrating. My goodness. Oh god, if you've got dry skin, this is incredible. I did, um, I'm sure you can really tell it's kind of come off now. I did tan my face the other night with the tan lux drops, so I'm not going to bother doing it tonight. I might put some of the um, Hydra, was it Hydra Glow? The Hyaluronic Acid tan drops, I might put some of them on later. But I think I'll just leave it as it is for now. Wow. My skin is so, so hydrated. I definitely put too much on, but I feel so rejuvenated. My skin feels so smooth as well. I think it was that oil cleanser that's really smoothed it out. Always finish with a bit of lip balm. So I'm gonna actually probably put my pajamas on and my dressing gown back on now and get a hot water bottle and finish the rest of my work. But I thought I would end this vlog here, a little bit of skincare. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was a little bit all over the place as my vlogs normally are um but nonetheless i hope you enjoyed seeing what i got up to this week i will be vlogging again next week and probably the week after as well so lots more weekly vlogs to come if you enjoy seeing them make sure you give this video a like and if you are new to my channel i would love it if you subscribed and i will see you all very soon with another video bye